Hello everyone, grade 3 expert recipes just came out today, so I'm gonna craft a couple of them to just show how I go about it. The rotation hasn't really changed much from the last time, but I wanna still kinda show how I go about it now. So I'm using my expensive melts, expensive version of the melts, but the cheap one should work as well, you'll just have a harder time to get 100% with lower control, otherwise it should be no problem. Just one thing, minimum craftsmanship for what I'm ab about to do, or my method of doing the progress part, is 2729. If you follow my uh, expensive melts and have specialist on, which you should anyway if you're doing expert, because with specialist you can use the ability careful observation was which is really helpful at the end of the craft many times it's a difference between 100% and no 100% so you sh don't don't do expert without specialist at all so you should be fine if you have the cheap or expensive melts either of them is fine I'm gonna also do a couple with the expensive melts as well just to show it okay so that's out of the way, so 2729 29 craftsmanship, control doesn't matter too much, the more the better, and uh, CP the more the better as well. But I'm not doing the one CP on those three pieces of gear, like the chest, headpiece and gloves. So I'm, I'm, I have more craftsmanship on it. In case you don't want to use specialist, you can always replace one of the control mills on the tool and add grade 7 craftsmanship instead if you want anyway I'm using food uh, I'm using chili oh yeah I use them rationing so you have a longer food buff I'm using the chili crab as my food HQ and uh, cunning craftsman here okay I start with reflect there's a risky starter with muscle memory but uh, I might make a different video if I find it well I haven't tried it yet but for now I'm doing it this way with reflect okay I do reflect then manipulation veneration then uh, rapid synth if we get three rapid synth with the amount of Craftsmanship, I 2729 craftsmanship. If we get three rapid synth under veneration successful, then we will be only one careful synth away to finishing the craft. That's why I recommend that craftsmanship exactly. And we got a plant, though, so we're gonna have to waste one veneration stack and use waste not two instead. Alright, centered, let's do another rapid. Another pliant. Uh, if I have both waste knot and uh, manipulation available, and I get a pliant, I'll, and I don't have 11 stacks yet, I'll do a preparatory touch. Saves you 20 CP, and it gain you gain two in acquired stacks. Gonna continue with my rapid synthesis. Got another pliant. In this situation, I only have one stack of manipulation remaining. I may as well refresh it. Rapid. Okay, another rapid. I should be one careful synthesis away uh, to finishing the craft. So let's try to get there. Good condition. I do precise touch if I don't have 11 stacks yet. Always precise touch. You gain two inner quiet stacks. Pliant again, so I refresh waste not two with it. Ooh, another good condition, nice. Precise touch. Centered, rapid. Okay, perfect. With this amount, I'm only one careful synthesis away. Just be sure to save enough CP for it at the end. Make sure you're at enough CP when you do the finisher. So now uh, we get the uh, inner quiet stacks to 11. Precise touch. Let's g uh, finish those waste not 2 stacks. Just wrap it uh, for now, hasty spam. Okay, hasty. 
Okay, so I refresh manipulation. Papa innovation. At, at this m point, you will wanna hope for good conditions so you can pop a precise touch for extra quality gain. But I didn't get one, so just gonna hasty touch it. Oh, there is it. The precise touch, perfect. Awesome. Sturdy. Might be worth if you get sturdy and you have manipulation up and also innovation up. Might be worth to do a prudent touch if you have enough CP. And I'm going for it. Prudent touch. Okay. So with my control, my starter control with the expensive melts, in order to get 100%, I need to be at 61.5k quality at the end. To get 100% on Byre God's Blessing, on normal condition. For good condition, I only need uh, 50... Uh, I wrote it down, let me just check it again. It was 51,000 quality so we just need seven more K and good condition and we should be at 100% there but I won't hold my breath it's all RNG at this point so it's always all RNG you win some you lose some but if you know what you're doing most of the time you win some you know okay so I need to think about my CP situation and uh, the way I'm gonna go about the finisher here uh, I can afford to do uh, another prudent touch, that way I'll stay at the same durability. But in case I get uh, more pliant, I'm just gonna do a hasty touch here. Didn't get more pliant, it's okay, I'm gonna rip up innovation. Gotta sturdy, so the next touch won't reduce anything. So with this sturdy, you have to always calculate in your head. Uh, we still have... and then there is also that manipulation. So there are a couple more moves we can do. Let's just hasty touch this one for now. Got a pliant. Okay. Uh, at this point I'm just gonna basic touch. Or standard, actually standard touch, you get more out of it since we got a pliant half CP cost. And you, standard touch gives you a lot of quality under innovation with 11 stacks, so I'm going for it. Alright, nice, 5.7k. So I need 61.5k to get 100% without needing good condition. Okay. Uh, we have, I can afford another prudent touch and still be able to do my finisher but my prudent touch I don't think will get me to if you go to the quality calculations prudent touch won't it will increase 4k actually it does nice it will get me to the point where I can get 100% without needing good condition on my battle gods. and we have enough CP remaining for that to happen as well let's go Ridden touch. 61.7k. So I have more than I need. So let's do the finisher. Great strides. Innovation. We still. <laughs> we got a good condition anyway. It's weird. It, it always gives you when you don't need it. But when you do need it, it rarely happens. Oh well. So Byra got. Careful synthesis. Done. 100% just like that Let me do another one reflect we g If you get uh, centered right away, then just go for the rapid right away We didn't get it. We got good condition precise touch Another centered rapid sense Masters mend Manipulation Veneration. Rapid synth. Another rapid synth. Pliant, waste not two. Keep the rapid synth going. 
Okay, so if I rapid synth again, it will finish the craft. So in order to not finish the craft, we pop final appraisal. That will leave us with one point of progress remaining to finish the craft with the last rapid synth. Just be careful if your final appraisal... Like you get this, like I'm just getting now, it's many fails on rapid synthesis. If that happens, just be careful, watch your final appraisal stacks. And be sure to repop it if you haven't still done the successful rapid yet. Okay, now that's good. Repop manipulation, got a pliant, awesome. Get those inner quiet stacks up. Hasty touch, precise touch, when you get it. Another precise touch. Perfect, we're already at 11 stacks. Center, the hasty touch. Hasty touch. We need to manipulation, uh, sorry, not manipulation, we uh, master's meant, I mean. To re refresh our durability, but only do it when you're... When you're 15 durability or under. Actually, 12 works. Or if you're under f 15, basically. Manipulation. Uh, sorry, master's man. <laughs> I mean. So that put me at 47 out of 50. If you're 15 durability left, do another move before you master's man. Is what I meant to say. This way you won't waste durabilities at all. Right now I could pop m innovation, but... I will lose durability if I do so. I will lose 3 durability. So I do a hasty before I do innovation. Hasty, then innovation. Keep going with the hasties. And we got a plant, perfect timing. Manipulation it. Okay, we don't have too much CP left. So we only have enough CP left for the finishers. At this point, be careful, just hasty touch and... If you get good condition, I get get some CP back. I will get some CP back. Haste, spam hasty. Can do another innovation. Spam hasty again. This craft didn't go as well as the first time, but... We can still make it to the enough collectability where we can get some points at least. Centered. Another hasty. We got sturdy, we can do another hasty. And then do the finish. Great strides. Innovation. Before you buy the gods, uh, calculate the CP in your head. If we do a observe, try to get good condition, we will have 32 CP remaining. Buy the gods will take 24 of those CP, and that will be 6 CP remaining. Not enough for careful sin. But we, now since we're only one point away, we don't need careful synth, we only need basic synth. So just be careful with that. In this case, we can do an observe, since we don't need careful synth. This time around. Whether you end up with this progress, or the progress will be as the first time, it depends on how, the, how your rapid synth goes. Okay, observe, hopefully get good condition. We didn't. We still have three more chance to try to get good condition and that's with the specialist ability, careful observation. But just to remember, in order to do careful observation you need... Uh, you need to... Have this item, which you can get with yellow scripts really cheap. Crafter delineations, so be sure to have as many as you can get in your inventory. So... We can do three per craft. We're, we're limited to three. Nothing happened. Another time. We got centered condition, which we can't use. Another one. Another centered, which we can't use, so we didn't get lucky. So that's why I recommend not doing the expert recipes unless you're a specialist. This careful observation makes a big difference in the long run. In the hundreds of crafts you're gonna do if you're planning to compete in the leaderboards with these expert recipes so also you don't have to remelt if you already followed my expensive melts if you are specialist you don't need to remelt anything 
Okay, so just buy the gods and finish it. Nothing else we can do. I don't want to keep the video too long, so I just wanted to show an example of how I go about it. If you want to see me craft this more, I will be doing more live streams on Twitch while I craft this. I did a 5 hour one today. If you are interested, you can... If you catch me live doing this, then you're welcome to ask questions as well. But I don't want to make this video too long. If I do another one, that's another 67 minutes. <laughs> so, I... Anyway, I really hope you find this helpful. Actually, before I end it, I should also show you with the cheaper melt as well. Alright, let me show you a run with the cheap melts as well. I'll put both melts in the video description as well. Cunning tea and chili crab. The cheaper melds have less craftsmanship than the expensive melds, but same thing really, just rapid synthesis. Alright, let's start, reflect. Got up early pliant, nice. Manipulation. Centered, we do rapid synth. Okay, and then veneration. More rapid synth. Ooh, sent two centered in a row, nice. But it failed anyway, damn it. Okay, we got pliant back. Uh, I'm gonna pop waste not two. Good condition, precise touch. Continue the rapid. Precise touch. One more rapid. Okay, didn't succeed. Master's meant. Rapid. The next rapid will finish the craft, so. Let's do manipulation. The pliant. And then uh, final appraisal for the rapid. Had we gotten one more rapid under veneration, we would have not need this last rapid, but oh well. Uh, waste not two for this pliant. There we go, we can finally work on quality now. Okay, hasty touch spam. Precise touch. Now we have 11 stacks. An a new pliant. Mani refresh manipulation. Precise touch with good condition. Hasty. Uh, precise touch. Innovation. Uh, we have four moves, so I'm gonna basic touch them. If we get precise touch, I'll precise touch. Unfortunately, we did not get precise touches, but... Okay. Innovation. Uh, we have enough CP to do a... Prudent touch. We will have 58 CP remaining, which is enough for the Great Strides by the Gods if we do a Prudent here. Let's go for it. Oh, we got Tricks of the Train. Great Strides. And now, careful observation. Ooh, oh, I forgot to get the uh, Crafter Delineation, so I can't observation. Oh well. It's still it's still decent. 6.4k even with that. I thought I had some crafter I don't have crafter delineation on, on this character I guess. I just have to get them. 
So there you go. The same same rotation applies for the cheap melts. You should be fine using them. It's just gonna be a slightly bit harder to 100% with the cheaper melts. That's all there is to it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe and share the video. And I'll see you in the next guide. Take care. Bye bye.